guest has cooked for stars like Steven Tyler and Elton John, just to name a few. And today he's in our kitchen cooking for us. He's preparing <laughs> a delicious maple sage roasted turkey that is going to be so juicy, as promised, with his brown sugar mustard yams. Oh, my goodness. Please welcome back our good friend, Ooh. Chef so Wayne Elias. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We promised Mary Margaret a turkey that was juicy, yeah. so she stuck around. She's yeah. excited about those yams, right. too. And as you can see, Allie and Orly are very excited yeah. to have this as well. So this recipe sort of brings back all the nostalgia of a traditional holiday meal, but you've kicked it up a notch. Well, we, exactly. So instead of just salt and pepper and a little olive oil or butter, I decided to add a little bit of shallots and some fresh sage, which is a nice complement with any poultry. So we've cooked some... And a little bit of butter. A lot of butter. a lot of butter. A lot of butter. <laughs> Everything's better with butter. It really um, is. And we're going to lather the turkey. Okay. Would you help me out? Of course. So I will. Little, let's do some rubber gloves so we don't get too okay. messy. So, and I love that you're just doing a giant turkey breast. Right. So instead of doing the whole turkey, you can easily just do the turkey breast. Some people like dark meat, especially kids. I don't think they're so, uh, you know, happy with dark meat. True. At least in my family. You guys, yeah. I think Cameron just had a moment here. I, listen, yeah. you <laughs> promised us amazing turkey. I'm, I'm going to fall noises. off my stool over here. This is so So we're good. just going to spread it out. Okay. okay. Is there salt in there as well? Yeah. We have a little salt and white pepper. Salt and white pepper. You've kept the skin on. Kept the skin on. We want to keep it nice and moist. Okay. Once we that, keep that sage go. right inside, oh, okay? Then we're gonna roll it oh like that. Gosh, okay. I should have put my other glove on, but I didn't. Oh, but that's here. okay. That's all right. We're gonna lift it right here. Okay. Now, our next thing is. Here, let me move this guy. Yeah, so why don't you take get... that out? There you go. The rest of the um, butter mixture that we had, I added the maple syrup to write this. Oh, wait, right? don't, we don't wanna waste okay, that. Can I put ahead. some more? You can. Okay. I was gonna okay. add it on that, but you oh, go ahead. Put it on that too. Come <laughs> on. There we go. So we're gonna baste it right here, cover it up. So maple what is syrup. That? So this is also some of that butter okay. with maple syrup and shallots. All right. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna place it in the oven. Thank you. I have a lovely sous chef. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so it goes in the oven for how long? Uh, we're going to cook it for an hour and a half, 350 degrees. That's it? That's Just it. Just an hour and a half at 350? 350 degrees for this size turkey, which is five pounds. Covered? Uh, covered. But how do I get the crispiness on the so skin? After you take it out and it's reached 150 degrees, we might test it with temperature. I love that you have a little handy pocket just gonna right here. I want one of those. So then. We're going to take it out, we'll uncover it, we'll raise the oven to 500 degrees. Oh. 15 minutes will nice and brown the skin and it'll be crispy the way you're looking because for it. Okay, let's take it out. Let's take it out. Shall we? Yeah, like while this you do that, I'm going to move yeah, this. This is otherworldly right here, chef. Ass. Oh, you need a. Um, I mean, there you like go. That? You weren't kidding. Yeah, he's no joke. Oh my goodness, look Ta -da. at that. Wow, oh, that's so beautiful. That right there. Now, I know we still need to let this rest. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put it here, let it rest for about 15 or 20 mm. minutes because traditionally, if you carve, any kind of poultry, because there's, it's 98% fat free, sure. it's gonna crumble and fall apart. So you want it to cool down a little bit and it will, the meat will stay together and slice beautifully. Which also brings me back to the moistness factor because I noticed we did not infuse with anything or baste. Would you baste this? Um, this does not have to be basted because for the hour and a half, it's cooking shorter than the whole turkey, which is four hours. Okay. How about that, 150? Look at that, perfect. Look at that. Uh, oh, he man. knows his Chef. stuff. The man knows what he's talking about. So while that rests, we'll take out your beautiful yams that we're serving yes. this with. And now, these are not just any yams either. Oh, these are brown sugar mustard yams. How did you come up with that now, recipe? Oh, I was trying to think of something. Thank you. So nice. Chef, time. before we kind of get into uh, you know what, what you did to prepare them, I need to ask you a question. What's the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? Oh, good question. So the same, right? No. no. <laughs> well, I mean, so the sweet potato is definitely a potato, very beige in color, and people will fool you and try to give you sweet potato in place of yams yeah. because most people probably don't know the difference. But as Debbie has also taught us today, yams are from Africa. And they go way, way back in their root vegetable. Like we were just talking about this, but a lot of grocery stores will put sweet potatoes and call them yams. They're not. They're different. They're different. Oh. So they, they taste they, very different. A they, yam almost has no flavor. You have to add flavor to it. It's just very starchy. Whereas the sweet potatoes get a little bit sweeter, lighter. Lighter in mm -hmm. color, very beige. That's why we're cooking these yams. Okay. With some brown sugar and water, which is going to infuse some sweetness into them. So you them. boil them very with sugar? Boil them first. Ooh, brown sugar and water. Then we're going to seven minutes just to half cook them. Okay. Then we drain it. And then we take two teaspoons of mustard. 
hmm. uh, Pomeray mustard or grain mustard because it helps coat the yams as opposed to prepared mustard will break apart. Right. We toss it, put it back in the oven, 350, 15 minutes, and it's completely cooked. Don't but it's that. But it's not done yet because as opposed to adding marshmallows, Chef Wayne has decided to add a meringue. Yeah. We're going to do meringue and toasted. Okay. Do you want to show me your artistic Oh boy, swirls? I don't know if I have them. Do you have some <laughs> cake decorating? Do, where do you want me to do so it? So I would do like six big swirls. Three, yeah, go heavier. Heavier? There you go. Make them really big. Keep going. Perfect. Yeah, those look really good. I mean, show Chef, off. do you need any help at Elton John's party? Yeah. I, you know, I can always use some good help, especially pretty help. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh boy, I think I do went. Do you need any help? Right, that flamethrower? Because I'm like, <laughs> now we're gonna toast it. Go. Okay, let's you can see squeeze the, the, see the squeeze. You can squeeze the last bit, of, and you can do left. like a line just to cover it up. Well, <laughs> well we sort of, I made like a little. A, it's a tree. Okay. It's a tree branch. Okay. Shall you? So you know, you're just gonna touch it. Give it a little golden brown, right? Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. That's beautiful. Very simple. You can use this torch for creme brulee. You can do whatever you like, as dark as light. Oh, it's so holiday. Holiday. I feel like it looks like like mountains covered with snow. Oh, that's that beautiful. I won't face that at you right Chef. now. Okay, so now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna actually slice the turkey live. I'm very excited to see this. So you're gonna see how juicy yeah, I it is. Yeah, I want to see it. Okay, so <laughs> let's put this over here. Um, we're gonna slice it live and I'm going to. Here you go. Don't mind my hands. Here, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So as you're doing this, I can ask you, look at that. I can ask you about, I know that you served this for guests recently, uh, this turkey in particular, and you said it really saved the day. Tell us about it. Okay, so at my own family, there's very ambitious chefs, let me tell you. Really? <laughs> Not just right? yourself? Not just myself. They oh. all want to take the turkey to the next level. They're going to barbecue it. They're going to oh, turkey it. They're going to okay. deep fry it. They're going to do anything they can just to change it. But sometimes I would tell you the traditional way is the best way. And then I have my mom who's pulling me to the side saying, you are the chef in the family. How about taking over and make sure everything is moist Aww. and not overcooked? So it's really, it's, it's changed what your you life. It has. It's changed your family's life, really. Are you gonna um, do a special recipe at Rockwell Table and Stage? I am. You are, are you gonna be serving this? This is gonna be on the menu for the next two months because I have an amazing show going on right now. Okay, I don't, okay, I'm just gonna brag on you for just a second. So, obviously, Chef Elias is a big chef for celebrities in Hollywood, but he has one of the coolest uh, concept restaurants here in LA. It is, you go for dinner and a show. It's live theater. Ooh. So you have an amazing chef making your amazing food, and then you get to see things like Clueless. They did live theater Clueless. Oh, they did Bridesmaids. What are you guys doing now? We're doing Stranger Things right now. Oh my God. So it is so much fun, right? you guys. We all have to go. It's we one of the most that. fun things. We should make a whole family It is uh, really outing. fun. We're going to do a home and family uh, dinner t there for you. <laughs> <laughs> live theater, home and family. So do we have to work? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> But we do, we exactly. do. It's a, an amazing uh, concept that we do. We take movies and TV shows and turn them into musicals. Eight performers in a four-piece band while you're having dinner and drinks. But not just any dinner. You you get great. This kind of yeah, if you're yeah. serving this turkey, I'm going to show up no matter where it is. Yes. But that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Chef, thank you so much. My Debbie, pleasure. You dive in, have a piece of that incredible we'll taste it together. turkey. You can find this recipe at HallmarkChannel.com. And for more on Chef Wayne Elias, visit CrumbleCatering.com.